What's happening today? I see you're angry. Yes, I'm angry. Why are you angry, Neil? I read an article this weekend that really made me cross. Um, I see these guys who are so-called experts. And, uh, now, Neil, uh, why are you taking your shirt off? I'm, I'm wearing my shirt in angry protest. <laughs> angry. I'm, I'm an angry bird. <laughs> <laughs> I, what really, is, I really am very cross. Okay, tell, tell us. What these oaks do, these, um, these so-called experts, yeah. they're investment advisors. Yeah. And they offer uh, investment solutions to people. And really all they're trying to do is sell their product, which is selling them uh, a program whereby they invest in the stock exchange for them. Okay. Or, ex or, or invest in retirement annuities for them. And uh, it doesn't, it's, it's I, I'm at a loss for words. The article I read recently, uh, this weekend, that really got me going was, yes. he said investing in residential property is bad. Oh no. And what he did is he took the, the I'm not even going to mention the author. No. Because there's no harm, there's no, there, there's, uh, there's no advantage in mentioning the author. But uh, he took the ABSA house price indice over the last 20 years, whatever that means. He stripped out inflation and came to the conclusion that property has only grown by a few percent above inflation for the last 20 years. So therefore, property is bad, throw it out the window, oh. come and invest in, sto in the stock market, stock, stocks and shares. Which as we know are volatile, you can make money there and so on, but you really have to know what you're doing. And these guys are... What these so-called experts are doing is they're just trying to sell their product. Sure. What we're offering here is we show you how to invest in property, and whether you invest in property through us or not is irrelevant to us. We are here to make sure, to, to show you the steps to how to get to financial freedom. And if you use us, that's fantastic. If you don't, that's also great. Our objective is achieved. Um, just just a simple thing, Why? why I just want to mention quickly why using that method that this guy used um, to say to discount property completely it's just it's null and void what he didn't even mention is that when you buy when you invest in property you actually are take you borrow money from the bank yeah, to buy a property from mr so-and-so yes okay and then you put it install a tenant in there to pay your bond back sure so now you're investing with somebody else's money how can how can you lose? Mm, that's awesome. As long as you do your sums right and you watch the cash flow, the power in property, as we know, is the capital growth. So now you're getting capital growth on an investment which you borrowed the money from. You borrowed the money from the bank to buy a property and you installed a tenant to over time pay your bond off. So all you're doing really is when you buy residential properties, you're transferring wealth into your name over a period of 10 years or so, 10, 15 years, however long it takes. And for somebody to just summarily, somebody to summarily just discount that as a way of creating wealth or, or generating wealth makes me angry. That's awesome. about all I have to say on this before I rip the shirt off as well. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, Neil. Cheers.